Life is good at the walks at the minute. We are top of the table. Adam Marriott is banging goals in for fun. And we've got a top of the table class versus Tamworth in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 18 of the Kingsley Walks to Prem Save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep guys, massive game today. We are top of the table and we're playing the team in second, Tamworth. And they're only behind us by a point. So this should be a very, very very fun game to watch. I've been waiting all day to be able to record this. I am looking so much forward to this game. I hope you guys are as well. And before we get started, if you are enjoying the series so far, please do help me out and pop a like down below. Every like really does help the channel out. And so now let's have a look see how we've been getting on since you was last with me for the FC United game. And as you can see, blooming well we've been doing. Look at all them green ticks. I've never had that many ticks in my life. Certainly never when I was at school. It was all more the red X's when I was at school, people. But yep, look at that. We started off last night with the game against Stafford. Dominated that one. 3-0 win. Romaine Mundell opening the scoring. Adam Marriott getting us a couple as well. Like I said in the intro, Marriott has been on fire. I'll show you his stats after we've finished going through the results. And yeah, the game against Stafford, we dominated. We had 57% of the possession. I think in most games, we've had about 57, if not more, percent possession. I think there might even have been a couple where we finished with like 60%. So that shows you just how well we've been playing and how well the new tactic has been getting on. And then after that, 3-2 win against Darlington. Should have been 3-1, but just like the FC United game, we conceded a goal right at the end, but it did not really matter too much. Matthew Campbell with an own goal to give us the lead, and Mbala doubled it for us. Jack Murrow got one back for them to make it 2-1. But then just after half-time, the main man, Adam Marriott, Made it 3-1 and after that it was pretty much game over until their goal right with the last kick of the game I think it was. So a very nice performance again. And again let's have a look. And how much possession did we have there? 53%. So we didn't really dominate it too much uh, in that game. But the tactic seems to be working a bit better away from home. We seem to be dominating possession more away which I think is quite weird. But as long as it's working I'm not going to moan. And then after that one, Kurz and Aston came to us and they just pretty much sat back and didn't do anything. They just sat back, defended for their lives and we couldn't break them down. So, yeah, very disappointing result that. But it kept us unbeaten. So, again, I was happy. And then at home against Blythe. 2-0 win. We finally got some revenge for all the problems they caused us last season when they knocked us out of the FA Cup, when they beat us late on in the season. So that was a very, very pleasing result. Adam Marriott scoring from the penalty spot. Romain Mundell in the 65th minute. So a very nice partnership them two are making because Marriott obviously is our striker and Romain Mundell is our attacking midfielder just behind him. So it's quite pleasing that when one scores, the other one scores as well. So yet yeah, very nice to see that. And how much possession did we have in that game? 60% there, you see? 12 shots to their four, five on target to their one, 60% of possession. And yeah, it's been going so, so well. And then after that, Gloucester 4-1 win. Adam Marriott with a hat-trick. Goals in the 11th, 13th and 81st minute. And David Mbala got one as well. And again, another late goal we conceded. But we was already 4-0 up by then. So didn't really matter again. Just would have been nice to have had a few more clean seats. But as long as we're winning games, that is the only thing that matters. 
And then after that, 1-0 win against Kettering. I was so nervous this game was going to end 0-0. We went completely very attacking, long balls forward. We went all gung-ho. And thankfully for once, it paid off. David Mbala got us the goal right at the end to keep our winning streak going. And yet, very nice performance. The sort of performance you put in if you're going to win a league. It's one of those ones where you don't play that well, but you still get the result. So, I was very pleased there. And then after that, Kidderminster away. 3-1 win. Adam Marriott with another hat-trick. His second of the season. Goals in the 6th. 31st and 77th minute, the last one from the penalty spot, and yeah, Marriott has been on fire, we've finally got him scoring goals on a regular basis, he's almost broken his record for last season already, and we're only at the end of September, so that was another very nice performance, Hales Owen, 4-1 result there, Xavier Simmons with another long shot goal, very nice one from him, Mundell got one, Marriott got another one, Odyssey Spy Rides came on towards the end and made it 4-1 to us, nice to see Spy Rides getting off the bench, he's a little bit unlucky he's not getting into, into the team because I do like him but when you've got a goal scoring machine like Marriott in your team you are going to find it hard to get in and then after that 5-0 win in the FA Cup second qualifying round, we went full strength against Potter's Bar, just to keep the confidence going, and to try and just make sure definitely that we got through, and it did work, Mundell got himself a hat-trick there, Xavier Simmons with the other couple, and yep, a very nice, very professional performance against a team a couple of leagues down, I think they are from us, but then after that, no idea what happened here, but Gateshead, they're one of those teams who always causes problems, and they scored early on, but I thought, nope, it's okay, it's okay, we'll turn it around. But then 21st minute, they went 2-0 up, I made a few changes to try and get back into the game, and yeah, it didn't work. So uh, that was our first defeat of the season, but it come in on the 21st of September, I'm not going to moan that that's our first defeat. So I was happy with that. But then we, well I wasn't happy with that, but you know what I mean. And I, I was happy with us not losing until then. And then after that, we had a 1-1 draw against Chester. Adam Marriott gave us the lead. And I thought, oh that's nice. Normal service is going to be resumed. But then they equalised just after the half-time whistle. Adam Marriott missed a penalty as well. So yeah, very disappointing performance that. But... We drew, we're still top of the league, and now let's crack on and get into the game against Tamworth. Come on, come on, I am so up for this. The team for today's game is Barnes in goal, Wilson at left-back, Wigget and Smith are both central defenders on defend, Richards is on the right-hand side of the defence, Richards and Wilson are both wing-backs on support. And in the midfield, we've got Mbala as a winger on support. Wright and Simmons have been phenomenal in the middle of the park for us. Diaz Wright is on a 7.24 for the season. Simmons is on a 7.5 for the last five games. So no chance I could drop either of them. George Brown is back on the right side of the midfield since the last video. He's on a 7.18 for his last five games. So the whole midfield has been phenomenal. It's been very fun to watch them play. And then Mundell is just behind Marriott. Mundell is on a 7.5 for his last five games. And Adam Marriott, of course, up top. He has scored 15 goals in his last 15 games. He only got 21 last season. So he could smash his record by the end of October maybe, you never know, and so yep, let's go and crack on, into the game, versus Tamworth, the bookies, as you would expect, have us as favourites, and quite heavy favourites there, I think you can say, little bit surprising, for a top of the table class, but, 
Let's hope they've got it right. I'm certainly feeling confident. Here we are in the dressing room. Let's go and do the usual. Set the opposition instructions. So my assistant, as always, has set none. And let's go passing it uh, with favourites for a reason. Or me to give you a lot of credit. Me to give you a lot of credit. Let's see what that does. That's got a fair few of them motivated. Let's see what saying I have faith in you does. And yeah, we've got pretty much a sea of green there. Only one or two players not really reacting. So that's pretty decent. And now, predictions, predictions, predictions. Uh, I'm feeling confident. 3 0. 3 0, I'm thinking to us. So let's go and kick the game off. 22 minutes in, finally got the first highlight of the game. Richards goes with a ball long, but their defence gets it back and just gives it right back to Richards. This time he thinks I'll go short. Smith back to Richards, and again he's gone long, but Marriott's onside, and he's on to this. Can he get the ball in the back of the net? Yes, he does. Of course he does. There are only three certainties in life. Death, taxes, Adam Marriott scoring a one-on-one, -on -one and 1-0 one to the Kingsley boys. Let's have a look at that. Very nicely slotted past the keeper. We are 1 0 up in this massive game. Oh, that is half time. Just that one highlight there. But you can see on the match stats how we have dominated this game. 11 shots to their one, 4 on target to their zero, and 68% of the possession. We are absolutely bossing this game. Would just like to get a few more highlights in the second half. So you know what? I'm going to lie to the lads. I'm going to go. I'm far from pleased and see what that does. Most of them are fired up. Let's leave it at that. And another couple of goals would be very, very nice now. 53 minutes gone in the game now. We've got the ball again. Smith with it. And he's just giving it away there. Mud with the ball. And he's got it. He shoots. And what a save that is. What a save from Barnes. I thought for all the money in the world, all the seep in Wales, that that was going to be a very undeserved equaliser. And now Cheese with the corner. He's melted under pressure and Barnes has caught it. Almost an hour gone. And Barla now with a corner. It's going to be an outswinger. They've headed their way, but only as far as Smith who gives it back to Mbala. He's got a bit more space. Mundell with the header and oh, a little bit wide. This is looking better now, lads. 62 minutes gone. Lots of highlights now. Exactly what I asked for. And it's them with the ball. Wakefield. And is he going to get it forward? He does. It goes to Duggan. Oh! WWE fans will get that reference. And now Mundell with the ball. Can he play it to a teammate? Yep, right. It goes over the top. Marriott's in again. Marriott is in again. Is he going to make it too? Of course he is. Do, 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 do. Adam, Adam, Marriott. He doesn't miss. Adam, Adam, Marriott. Is he on for his third hat-trick of the season? What a nice result that would be. And again, a ball over the top. And Marriott, he's just on fire. Fire now. Oh, another highlight. It's now our man Richards with the throw in. Goes to Mundell, to Richards. And Simmons to Brown. And Brown, can he get it down the right hand side? He does. He's cut inside. He's got space here. He's gone for the shot. And very easy one for Marshall to save there. 20 minutes left to go in the game. And I'm going to bring on Spy Rides in the attacking midfield role in place of Mundell. Mundell's had a quiet game. Let's see what Spy Rides can do. And as well as that, how has Brown been playing? 6.9. You know what? I really like Fitchett. I really want him to get a goal. So let's go and chuck him on for George Brown and see how he gets on in the last 20 minutes. Can we get another one so I can make it two videos in a row where I've got the prediction right? Just over 10 minutes remaining now. Mbala gets the ball off the throw in. Back to Wilson. In to right. Is he going to go centrally? No, he's not. Wilson with it on the left-hand side. Right once more. Spy rides. 
Back to right, we're keeping the ball so well. Look at the possession stats. 64% we've had. Wilson crosses it in, but only as far as Walton. Right again is in the right place. Richards and fits it. Fits it with it. Can he cross it in? Can he get an assist? He, he does, and Marriott, Marriott with his third hat-trick of the season. And what a game to get it in. The top or top of the table class. I'm losing my words. This is unbelievable how well this season is going. Fits it with another assist. I think that's his third of the season. And what a place to put it into. Marriott was never going to miss that. And there you go, that's the final whistle. An Adam Marriott masterclass has seen us dominate Tamworth. 3-0 with one, 19 shots to their six, eight on target to their four, 61% of the possession we have finished the game with. We are going up, lads. Um, I'm going to say it now. If we don't win the league, it's a bottle job. And you can all comment it in the comment section if we do bottle it. But we are a National League team. We are a National League team now. We're just stuck in the league below. But not for long. Only for another few months. And now, let's go and see when we're going to come back. Oh, look at that league table. We are four points clear. We are four points clear. We've played 15 games, won 10, drawn four, lost only the one. Oh, it's beautiful to look at right now. And so, let's see, when are we going to come back? I know I did promise you the self-sealed game in the last video, but today's been a bit manic, today's been a bit hectic. I've not really had that much time to record. So, I thought I'd just bring you just that one game. And so, let's see, when are we going to come back? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't really want to bring your gates head again. Uh, Spennymore? I think either Spennymore or Kidderminster. I don't think I've brought you a Kidderminster game. We'll, we'll see how many games I get played tonight. West Ham are on TV tonight, or at least on Amazon. So I'm going to be watching that tonight. So it's debatable how many games I'll get through. But... Basically, I'll come back when I come back. You know how it is with me. I say I'm going to come back in five games time. And then the next video is three months later. So, yeah. Basically, no promises. And, yep, guys. You know what? If you've enjoyed that video, and how can you not have, please pop a massive like down below for that massive result. Every like really does help the channel out. Subscribe to the channel for more FM20 content. And follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well as that, check out the Passion for FM website, the Discord, the Twitter, the Facebook page, all of that good stuff. And check them out. The website especially is brilliant. Lots of good downloads, resources, guides, all that sort of fun stuff. So yeah, check them out. And, yep, guys, that is everything for today. We are going to win the league. We're going to win the league. We're going to win the league.